Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm going to be making these two Hot Wheels into a post-apocalyptic style car carrier and pursuit car. The car carrier truck is called the Backslider and the car on top is a 68 Mercury Cougar. I purchased the Cougar at the local store and I got the Backslider in a big box of various Hot Wheels and Matchbox and all sorts of things. I definitely don't like the way the car carrier looks as it is, so I thought it would be a good candidate for a post-apocalyptic Mad Max style build. I do quite like the way the Cougar looks, but hey, I can go and get one of these anytime I want. You can see here how the top of the back slider slides down and you can drive the car on and off it. I start by drilling at the rivets holding the two models together. With the rivets drilled out, I use a pick to pry the base off and then the car comes apart easily. There was only two die cast parts. I used some poly stripper to remove the paint. I just paint it on thinly and within a couple of minutes it's usually wrinkled and peeling away. It is then rinsed off with some cold water. The castings are then tidied up with a wire brush on my rotary tool, removing any remaining paint and oxidation. I use a straight burr on my rotary tool to carve some deeper gouges and dents into the body of the car. Next I use a round burr to smooth out some of the sharper edges of the gouges and to carve some shallower dents into the body. Using styrene, some steel plate, some nails and other things I start to fabricate some extras onto the body of the car. A bull bar. some louvers some armour for the front panels. A bar around the rear wheels.
I add some wire mesh to the side windows and the rear window. Some corrugated iron over the rear wheels. An extended rear bumper. Finally, some big nasty spikes at the rear of the car. Moving on to the car carrier, the first thing I'm going to do is chop out the silver windscreen. Here it is after some more fabrication. I have added a gun on the side with some hydraulic hoses, some angled metal at the front, metal patches over the holes in the roof, and mesh in the windows. I sculpt a couple of small skulls and stick them on the rear of the base. With my fabrication done, I pop the wheels out before painting. I paint all the parts in Molotow Silver Rattle Can. This gives me a nice, strong, smooth surface to work on. I start the car carrier with the two main body sections. They are first given a coat of dry rust effect paint. I next paint the details in gun metal. This is followed with a dark wash. The hydraulic hoses are painted a deep red. I finish the body sections with some metallic weathering powders. The car carrier base is started with a dark wash. Followed by some rust washes.
and then finish with some metallic weathering powders. A similar process is applied to the top car carrier tray. For the rear wheels of the car carrier I make some small putty spikes. I'm going to replace the front wheels with these real riders. Some spare wheels will get chained onto the side of the car carrier. I start the car by painting some of the deep dents and gouges with rust. Once I'm happy with my rusty gouges, I give them a quick coat of varnish. Next I apply some chipping medium to them. I give the car a couple of coats of black paint with my airbrush. The armour and details are painted in dark steel. To achieve the chipped paint effect, I first apply some water over the chipping medium areas and then gently pick away at it with a brush that I have hardened the bristles of with some varnish.
I paint the corrugated iron sheets in rust. So more washes are applied here and there. Then some weathering powders. I finish the corrugated iron sheets with some iron oxide powder. A dark wash is applied to the base of the car. Followed by some rust washes. The bumpers are painted in gun metal. Some more wash is added. And again, it is finished with some weathering powders.
The seats I first painted in an off-white. Next, the rest of the interior was painted in dark steel. Gun metal for the grill and turbo intake. After detailing the seat belts, the interior is given some washes. And then the highlights brought out with some metallic powders. I use modeling compound to create some small skulls for the front of the car. I first make the front of the skull and then bake it hard in the oven. I can then remove this from the flat surface and create the back of the skull. This is then baked again. I am getting better at modelling these tiny skulls. I think these are much closer to scale and more realistic looking than my previous attempts. I had to create my own little tool small enough to work on them. I stick my little skulls on the front bull bar of the car along with a couple of short lengths of chain. Finally I'm going to use these real riders from green light to replace the old Hot Wheels wheels. They're given some dark and rust washes. Before we take a look at our finished model let's take a moment to be reminded of what we started with. An odd looking fantasy car carrier called the Backslider with a pretty ugly colour scheme and a pretty cool 68 Mercury Cougar. Good looking but not really at home outside the Thunderdome. And so let's bring on the Apocalypse. With its blue paint scheme worn away by the radioactive dust storms, our car carrier is now looking much cooler in a rusty metal colour. Along with its gun, spiky wheels and blade at the front, it's ready to face the post-apocalyptic wasteland. The same goes for our Mercury Cougar, which has been kitted out with armour, spikes, a bull bar, louvers and meshed windows. Ready for some post-apocalyptic duelling or maybe chase down some fuel thieves. Now I'll take a moment to welcome all of my new subscribers and say again a massive thanks to everyone for the great comments on my videos. Thanks heaps everyone. If you'd like to help support the channel you can check out my Patreon page, there's a link in the description below. 
And a special thanks to Rob from Matchbox Garage for being my first patron and always being a massive supporter of the channel since the start. Thanks heaps, mate. I highly recommend you check out his channel and I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks heaps for watching. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe.